Hey everybody. This is my fry starter tank. Um, as promised, I did a water change in the 112 and in the process caught this fry which is at least several weeks old, maybe over a month. Um, as I was draining the water from the fry starter tank, I did notice one fry. So I did get one fry from the last water change from the 75 and I've seen several other tiny fry I'm not sure I can catch them on camera here but there are a few in that corner bad news is I did notice one tiny fry that expired uh, shortly after I did the water change so I'm hoping that wasn't the one that was in there originally. That large water change killed it. But in the process of catching these critters with a gravel vac, some of them are about to expire, but most of them make it. The grow out tank looks pretty good except for the cyanobacteria growing on the live plants. Uh, I can get it off with a toothbrush, but I'm afraid I'll damage the leaves. And I understand there are chemicals that you can add to the water to kill the cyanobacteria, but I really hate to add chemicals to a tank having had some bad experience with that in the past but these uh, approximately seven or eight grow out fry which I don't see at the moment are eating well and seem to be happier in a 10 gallon than they were in a 2 gallon And here's a quick look at the 75. These juvenile fry are doing quite well. I haven't seen the bumblebee catfish come out and eat for a few days. I'm not sure if he's getting the food or these juveniles actually do get in that vase at 4 a.m when I attempt to feed the bumblebee catfish um, I hope he's doing alright and not subsisting on juvenile Colombian tetra thanks for watching I'll see you soon on the next one